Today we've got beautiful, wonderful Digitech pedals. For we you. certainly do. Not Digitech. 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 Uh, yeah, very, very sexy new, really cool new direction for Digitech. You know, moving away from from pedals that you know fundamentally in the past have been pretty good, but I've always thought of perhaps looked you know sat in the shadow perhaps of a certain Ooh. other pedal manufacturer. Uh, um, and those certainly wouldn't sit in the shadows. No, and these are very, very cool now. So they're, they're new designs, slightly more sort of uh, radical kind of thinking with the pedals, funky graphics, uh, upgraded spec, um, and really, really cool. So we've got a couple of pedals here. You may remember Rob and I demoed a couple of their distortion pedals last month, the, the Bone Shaker and the, yep. um, and the other, the other one. one. <laughs> Gunslinger. That's right. Um, oh, that was great. Yes. Oh, I properly 80s out on that one. Uh, so now we have a reverb and a delay pedal. So the Polara uh, reverb and the Obscura altered delay. Let's start with the Polara bro face. Okay, so what I want to try and do is get a, a cleanish sound from the, the Red Dwarf so no that problem. you can hear the sort of the, the juiciness. Now, um, some of you may know that Digitech is part of a, a larger corporation uh, called Harman, Harman, who own a lot of very cool pro audio brands, one of which is Lexicon. And so you sometimes get these kind of collaboration things where they'll work with each other. So fundamentally what you're getting here is a pedal, uh, a reverb pedal with its roots in some insanely expensive yeah. Lexicon reverb technology. So a bit of insider knowledge for you there. This is great reverb. Yes, so... Let's start with a dry sound, so that you get an idea yes. of just what, what you're after. So the pedal itself has uh, seven different variants of reverb. Room, plate, reversed, sorry, modulated, halo, which is like a shimmery thing, hall and spring. So you would just use this control in the top right to adjust that. Uh, it then has a level control, a liveliness control, which is kind of how sort of big the reverb comes in immediately. Uh, decay, so the overall length of the reverb. And what I quite like kind of call uh, a switch at the top called tails. Uh, in its off position, the pedal is true bypass, but that means as soon as you switch the reverb off, there is no tail to the reverb. And in its on position, it's uh, a buffered output, which means that when you switch the pedal off, the reverb naturally decays. A lot of people like their output uh, buffered. Well, um, especially if you're a muffin. Um, <laughs> so look, I think what I'll do is if Rob keeps the sound pretty clean, does some sort of no ambient problem, picky sort of stuff, I'll go through the seven different types of reverb and you can see what they sound like. So here is the Polara.
Right, the Red Dwarf has its own wet dry mix on the back. So if we, we're in a reverse reverb mode. So if we go 100% wet on the uh, effects mix, uh, you only hear the reverse reverb like. Depending on the amp you've got will depend whether you can do that kind of effect. But if we just go for like a 50-50 blend, then you're getting a bit of both then. Hall reverb. So seven different types of and it really off. cool reverb. Uh, the only one in there that, that's even remotely kind of uh, freaky, I guess, is the reverse one. Everything else is just like a super, super usable. Even the reverse one, I kind of think, sounds cool for certain, for certain yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. Talking um, into the pickups, for example, is a great one with that. Doing what, sorry? Talking into the pickups. <laughs> Do it now, put it, put it on reverse. See, so when you hear that coming through your uh, Black Sabbath albums, you'll know. Or you'll know it was because they went was. forward in time, mm -hmm. Marty, <laughs> and uh, got themselves uh, one of these. Now we're going to move over to the Obscura Altered Delay, which is a little bit more complicated um, in that it's, it's a delay pedal, but where it's really trying to hark back to sort of those slightly dirtier kind of analogy kind of delays where the repeats do kind of dirtier and more rumbly sort of things. Um, so a little bit like the Polara, we've got four uh, basic modes, an analog delay, which is just a standard bucket brigade style delay, uh, tape delay, lo-fi and reverse. Oh. Uh, we can adjust the level, the time, the repeats, the tone and the degradation of the, of the repeats. And again, just like the Polara, we have an, um, a sort of a true bypass on off, which, which allows us to decide whether we want the tails of, of the, the echo to carry on. So I'm just going to start. Do you want, shall I put a little bit of reverb on in the background to, or should we just have Oh no, we'll just go for just the delay, delay and see what it sounds okay. like, but then it'll be nice with a bit of, bit of yeah. you know. So I'm going to start just with the analog standard version. Here we go. That's, that's, that's all, eerie yeah. as hell. Yes. So 
let's move on to some of the more sort of dirty ones, like the tape echo, for example. Let's have a little listen. Maybe if we just play one note and let people hear it. Yeah, sure. T turn it off then. Without. With. So can you hear how it kind of starts to sort of get slightly dirtier? And we can adjust that degradation, so I can I can turn it all the way up. And... So you can really hear it kind of yeah, it falls apart up as it as it goes. A bit like on. when you say a word in your mind over and over and over again, and it becomes meaningless. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? No. When you say a word continually, there's a terrible. Honestly, when you, you must have heard this before. When you say a word again and again and again, and it suddenly has no meaning at all, and you're like this word means nothing to me anymore. I've, I've, I've no idea. You've I've never, never had that. that. I've never done that. Or, wow. Or where we're, we're going with that one? That's it's a real thing, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> so look, so let's uh, let's do a little bit with the tape echo just to get some tone. Lo-fi mode, so here we go again. Oh, that's really long, isn't it? Let's turn. <laughs> uh, you're going to a feature I'm going to show you shortly if that's making you laugh. But go on, keep going. Me. Whilst we're on that kind of uh, subject of making you laugh when the delays kind of change their speed, so what's actually happening there is by changing the time of the delay, in other words, how fast it repeats, it has the effect of causing the guitar to go wee -oo, wee, -oo, wee -oo, all that kind of crazy stuff. How did it go? Wee -oo, wee -oo. Exactly. Um, now I can actually do that. Uh, one of the cool things on this pedal is that by holding down the button with my foot, uh, I can actually put the pedal into a tap tempo mode and then. As I change uh, the tempos yeah. on the floor, it will do all that kind of crazy pitch That's shifting. That's great. So let's emulate that now. So if I, if we just turn it on, so here is a delay. Let's just get one. So there's our delay. Now if I hold down the pedal, and now you can see it's flashing, so I'm in tap tempo mode. So whilst Rob... That's awesome. So you can get some kind of crazy effects out of it and stuff like that. So let's get back into not tap tap Man, mode. Man, Digitech and Harmon and all this goodness. Doing clever stuff, aren't they? they? Are. So the last effect on here is reversed mode. Let's just see what that sounds like. Now, you can you set it to long so I can play something and then it will play it back? I expect so, yes. And I'll set this to really wet. There we go. Okay, I got I got a game. I got a game. On, then. Right, uh, close your eyes. Tell me what this is. Okay. I, I'll, I'll like not listen to the riff. Hold on. Okay. No, we'll ask the viewers if they can guess what the riffs are. Okay. And I'll turn around so I, I'll play them, and they'll be backwards. You got to guess what they are. Ready? Okay. 
<laughs> Sounds better backwards. You should re release it. Ready? Yeah. Sound, I know what that riff is, but it sounds a bit like some sort of the intro to like a um, Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh yeah, or something like that. Or, or... <laughs> so putting back on like half uh, half wetness, he says. Um, so look, they're the kind of pedals, and and I and I think they're kind of funky. So what we'll do now to just sort of play Let's go out, high gain and put them um, both together. Yeah, we'll just That's add them both in together. Both of these are running through the effects loop of the amplifier, by the way. Uh, what did you like the best? Oh man, I you like them all. Sort of... Controversial now. What are you going to say? Well, there's one pedal brand that's kind of had like the reverb and delay market pretty much all their own. I the was literally going to say exactly the same thing, but then I stopped myself because I it's, thought, it's, is that politically the right well, thing to say? It, this but is, probably this not. is cat amongst the pigeons time, I think. In terms of just, I love the look of them, they're cool. I prefer that reverb to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'd have to do a side by side before I was going to make that kind of judgment call, but it, yeah. it's it's absolutely stellar. Sound I'd, need to, I'd need to check um, the. Um, uh, the, the flashback against yeah. that delay, but the Hall of Fame for me, it's, it's probably gone. It's stellar. Stereo in and out, so again, you, you know can what use it's got? anywhere it's in, a, really in a rig. It's beautiful sounding. That's what I mean, it's very and musical, it's got, isn't it? The spaces sound mm. like real spaces. Not I don't know, man. It's just a gut feeling I have. Yeah. I no, like them a cool. lot. I don't like the look of them. I've always liked kind of pedals that do kind of weird graphics and stuff. As you know, if you're going to look at your pedal board, you might as well look at something pretty, is not you? Well, you know, mm. you don't poke the fire looking at the mantelpiece to you. Uh, so there we are. I've said it. I liked it. Did you um, say the price? Oh no, I didn't. Sorry, the price Do is on. That. They're, they're both the same price. They're both going to set you back about one hundred and twenty pounds. Um, Good. Uh, neither of them will work on batteries, which, to be honest with you, is completely cool because pedals like this, even when they do work on batteries, wait a minute, Lee. They only last about. You forgot 10 something minutes very important. What? Stomp lock. Oh gosh, didn't I? Well, if you haven't already decided you want one of these, you definitely will now. Because this turns them to have a little yeah. bat face with two little fangs. Makes them really cute. Hello, my name is Stomplock, <laughs> and I am a special rubber thing that will make you want to buy this pedal. Stomplock <laughs> is a little rubber... Um, Wait, let me show the camera. It's a little rubber... Well, I've just shown them on the close-up one, haven't I? But, so it's like a little rubber thing, and what it does yeah. is once you've decided it's what your settings face. are... It's kind of a bit like the knob guard on, on Rob's uh, silverback, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, so you pop this over here, <coughs> and then nobody can kick it, even when you, the, the pedals are in transit and stuff yeah. like that. It's so a great idea. Sound, that, that's, that's what it is. So yeah. very, very cool. I like that. And and I quite like the fact that the reverb has a blue light and the delay has a red light as well. So yeah. that you, you know, just I like to be colour cool. I'd rather, the, to be honest, there. the only hole I'm going to poke here is that I wish reverb had a red light because reverb red. Right, and delay presumably some sort of colour that sounded duh. Is there a duh, it, uh, dark? dark. dark. What's, a, what's a colour that begins with duh? Dulce, no, duh. Dr Dreary, grey. Probably. If yeah. you can think of a colour that begins with D, let us know. Or not. You've In probably the got interim. substantially better things to do with your time than yeah. this. <laughs>
Chapman. And I've been the captain. Farewell. Shot. Shot.